about London, what kind of bracelet are you going to make? I'm going to make it a triple single and the... A triple single? Yes. What does it look like? Which one's that? It looks like this. Okay, What now what makes it a triple single? Well, a single just looks like this one. Okay. And it looks like there's three, it, there really is three of them. Okay. And then there's some bands that hold them together. Ah, okay. So what do we do first? Well, first you, you're, you're going to need four colors, or any color. Okay. And then you just, and you're going to need your loom to face it this way. And this is the loom, right? Yes. Okay, what is this thing called? It's the hook. That's the hook, okay. And you just start putting it on like this. Okay. Now, is there a direction you said it has to face? Like a certain way? It can't be the other way? Yes, but you, it can be the other way, but if you face it the other way, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to like flip it over and stuff because you're gonna have to do it from right here. Okay. But these little um, slits right here, it helps the hook get in there ah, and grab the rubber band. Okay, I see. Okay. So are you gonna are you gonna make like a perimeter with that? Like go all the way around? No, you you just go you just do this all the way until the end. And you can do patterns, you can do it like this way, or you, or you can just do stripes. Okay, which way are you going to do it? I'm going to do the stripes. I'm going to do stripes. Like the long ways. Okay. Okay, you're going to need a different color for the middle, I, I can, and I assume a, even a different color for the other side? Yes. Okay. And it really doesn't matter how many colors you have. How long have you been doing this? Since Christmas. Since Christmas of 2013? Yes. So about... About two months, roughly, a little over two months. About, yeah. You've made 10 billion bracelets, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, they're Coffee. all squished together, so it looks like a lot. If you had enough looms put together, could you, like, make, like, a dress or something, or something really big? Or... Yeah, you could. You can make hats and... Make hats? You can make you can make like coats, like you put on a a coat and then you can like trace the outside with all the rubber bands. Rubber band coats. Wow. Yeah. This is awesome. Okay. On Facebook, Finish. there's actually a picture of it. Really? Okay. I'll just have, I'll have to look that up. I'm gonna go for some kind of record. The biggest. What are these called? Loom bands. Rainbow Loom, Crazy Loom, Fun Loom, there's all kinds fun of... Fun Loom, Crazy Loom, the biggest Fun Loom artwork ever. Sorry, I'm kind of slow. <laughs> You're faster than I'd be. Okay, tell me again, because I'm slow. What it, what kind of this? A single, tri triple? A triple single. Triple single. Or some people call it a waterfall. A waterfall, okay. And once you have it, and once you have all the rubber bands laid out like this, uh -huh. you're going to turn the loom around, uh -huh. and you can get one of the same colors, or you can get a different color, and I'm going to use white. Okay. And, you, and then you just start setting them down in triangles. And triangles, okay? Yeah. All the way up? Not all the way up. You don't do it on the very top one. Really? Why is that? Because whenever you flip it, there's nothing to there. There's nothing going to be there to to flip. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just have to wait and see until you <laughs> yeah. get to the end because I don't understand that. But apparently you do, and I think that's awesome.
once you get all these white ones on, then that's when you start doing the little the stick the, thing. The hooking part. And you won't use any more. You don't use any more rubber bands. Use. Or just a few to connect the ends. Yeah, you use a few to connect the ends, and sometimes if you're, if it's too small, like if the, oh, I, ha right. I had to add some right here because this was right here was too small for my wrist. Right. So I had to add some more so it'd fit. Okay. Yeah, that's about to break. And what I've made before is like, you can make quadruple singles, you can just make double singles. It's really cool. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed. Here's mine. Show me from you. That's really, really special. Okay, now how do you do the stick thing? Okay, so hook. you're going to grab your hook and then on this side or this side, you're just going to come you're gonna come under, it's gonna have to be under this if it's not under that um it's gonna mess up whenever you try to take it off okay. so you're just gonna grab whatever color is right there and you're just gonna flip it over to the next peg okay and then you're gonna come behind the white and you're, you're gonna come under the white one grab the next one and then just flip it over and you're gonna keep on doing that all the way down Okay. And you're going to do that on each row. And apparently you've done this several thousand times because you're really good at it. <laughs> now how did you learn how to do this? Did someone show you? No, um, the crazy loom. It comes with some instructions in it, uh -huh. and it and just just shows you what to do. And you just read the directions. Yeah, I, I read the directions, did it, and unlike any man on earth, London reads directions on how to do something, and apparently it works. Okay. Middle row is always going to be the quickest because there's this is farther away from the peg. Okay. So you don't have to go behind anything on the middle row. Ah, okay. Sorry if I'm blocking the view. No, actually, you're doing just fine. I've been watching you make these last several weeks and I'm, I might can make one now if I re-watch this video. Okay, yeah that was quicker. So now you're going to do the right side, which is just the same as the left. Yes. Kind of go behind that little thing. and Yeah. It's going to be the exact same. Okay. So uh, I assume all your friends at school do this? Most of them. Or at least a bunch of them? Yeah. Almost everyone in the school probably has one. These things are really popular right now. Um, apparently so.
And sometimes you might need to push back that one in this gap with your finger. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay, now what do we do? So whenever you're done with that, you, you just rotate it, and then, so yellow, you just stick your hook through mm -hmm. both, both of the uh, parts of the, we'll just stick it through right there, Yeah. and you just put that on the hook, you take this up through, grab it. Oh, like a slip knot. And, and you bring it over here. That keeps it from unraveling? Yes, whenever you're pulling it off. Then you just stick it through there and pull it. Okay. So you just stick one loop through the other and then pull the loop that you stuck through one. Okay, and you do that on all six ends? No, just on three. Because this here, since it's... Ah, it's that way, okay. this, this is not going to come unraveled. Okay, I see. It's just this part that comes unraveled. That is so key. I think my big old fat sausage fingers can do that. I'll be. And then we do just yank it off. You don't want to just yank it off because you might break a rubber band and then you'll have to restart the whole thing. Yeah, okay. So I'll okay. gently remove it. So you just grab this end over here. Mm -hmm. Take off these two. And then just start taking it off like this. How cool! And then it'll look like that. A single, trip or triple, triple single. single, or a waterfall. Also known as a waterfall. Okay, and then you got little plastic hooks over here to hold them together. Yep. Okay. And what I always do is I always put some extra, just to make sure I don't cut off my circulation. Alright, brother, stuff's charged. Let's go racing. Lonnie, thank you so much for giving the demo on how to make a waterfall. Mm -hmm.